let's start by understanding what is empathetic consciousness. Empathetic consciousness is when a person has financial, economic, material, emotional satisfaction. So perhaps every aspect of a human uh, being that satisfies him or her and the individual have the capacity to practice good conscience uh, on other fellow human beings. So first of all, we all need to understand the features of traditional and modern societies before any explanation on uh, empathetic consciousness. Traditional society is characterized by number one, less exposure to self-expression. And whenever there was a self-expression, it would be dealt with harshly by the members of the authority. Number two, traditional society is characterized by economic hardship. Number three, traditional society is characterized by belief in the firm hem of state power, emphasize conformity. And number four, traditional society is characterized by unacceptable in abortion, uh, homosexuality, and divorce. Okay? Now, according to Rifkin in 2009, all forms of security, such as economic security, personal uh, safety, freedom uh, to control one's fate, and selfhood, can heighten empathetic consciousness. So restriction of empathetic consciousness comes in the forms of number one, the survival societies, number two, traditional cultures. So in survival societies, everybody is struggling for survival. So looking for securities as food, financial and shelter, these are the things that are scarce in the survival societies. So as a result, there is no time for empathetic consciousness. So individuals are looking for ways to keep themselves alive. The same as traditional societies, where the relationships between the parent, child, siblings, and other close relatives, extend kin and members of peer groups and uh, are confined. So the authority uh, flows from parent to child, elders to youngsters, uh, that leave little room uh, for the individuals to express the empathetic consciousness. Rifkin in his book quote, increased economic well-being has provided the security necessary to allow people to be uh, more trusting of their fellow and more caring toward their natural world. So while we are saying that, Rifkin furthermore recognized that there is 83% of the high-income countries that have adopted a post-materialist culture. 74% of the poorest countries in the world are um, only just marginal between poor and uh, wealthy. So that is in a survival mode. So to sum up the survival in the materialist uh, countries, there are opposite uh, growing opposite directions from each other. So let's have a thought. How much empathetic consciousness left in the whole world?